Schulenburg is halfway to everywhere. It's a good, vibrant, small, quiet town centered between San Antonio and Houston, Austin and Victoria, so it's very convenient to get to the larger cities. It still surprises me that there are people that say, well, I just heard about the painted churches. I thought everybody knew about them by now. We have six in our area, four of which people can go in and visit on their own or they can take guided tours through us. The painted churches were built by the Czech and German immigrants. They came over here and wanted to emulate those big cathedrals that they had back home. They were drawn to Texas because the rolling hills around here resemble some of the foothills around the Alps. They had to learn a lot of things, how to properly plant cotton and corn. They weren't the most successful farmers in the world to begin with, but they learned and, uh, and they worked hard. The people, of course, wanted their churches not only to be beautiful because they were God's house, but to reflect their heritage. They didn't have the resources to do it, so they had to use paint. In one church, you'll see these marble columns. Well, they're not actually marble. They're painted to look like marble. So the churches are all very, very different. One has stars all over the ceiling. One is, is known as the pink church because most everything is pink and, and shades of rose. The one at High Hill is considered the queen of the painted churches because it's very, very elaborate. The one out at Praha is also very large, like High Hill, and it was just refurbished, and they have made it into a beauty. <laughs> the churches weren't just a religious symbol, they were the guidepost to comfort. <laughs> people traveling could see a church steeple in the distance, and they know there are going to be people around, and a place where I can stay and, and get refreshed. It seems like the more visitors we get, the more impressed people are every day with it. We actually had three museums here in town, which is pretty unusual for a town of this size. The Schulenburg Historical Museum has a lot of unique items from the history of Schulenburg, and I know a lot of people are interested in those things from the 1800s that their great-grandparents or great-great-grandparents grew up with. Two doors down is the Texas Polka Music Museum, which has posters and mementos from a lot of the polka bands. The Stanzel Model Aircraft Museum was started by the Stanzel brothers. They made model airplane kits, and they were really ahead of their time. It's got this gorgeous museum with models and life-size statues. We get probably 8,000 people a year just coming to visit the churches on the guided tour, so we probably get 20,000 on their own. What is the population of Schulenburg? 2,852. <laughs> so the town really does grow, especially in the spring. People really come to see the wildflowers and the churches at the same time. There's a lot of pretty drives outside of Schulenburg on the way to the churches. Maybe I'm prejudiced, but I just seem to think that Fayette County has to be the prettiest county in Texas. 